All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle here, and today I'll be unboxing the 20th anniversary Kirby collection, which came out on the Nintendo Wii. And I love special editions, I like limited editions, I like collector's editions, I like anniversary editions, I just like compilation of games or collections of games or, you know, anytime that a game goes a little bit further than a normal release and they kind of add extra goodies or, you know, it's just different from a regular edition. Um, and this is the exact kind of uh, special edition that I like. You know, it's, it's a... The game is inside it, so it's an extra box on the outside, and it comes with uh, the game itself, uh, a soundtrack, and an art book. Very plain, uh, not too extravagant, but that's the exact kind of things that I like. Once in a while, I do like extra goodies like they have for um, the dragon there from the Skyrim uh, Collector's Edition, but that's 150 bucks, whereas this is a normal retail price, and I think that that's just awesome. That's, that's the way to go about things. Uh, once in a while, charge an extra $10 uh, or $20. Sometimes, depending on what they're offering, but uh, I just very plain and you know, give me a, 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 a soundtrack and an art booklet and a, another box outside of it to make it a little bit bigger so it shows that it's a special edition, and I'm quite happy. So, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the box itself once it um, focuses. Yeah, there we go. So it comes with the uh, game itself, uh, like the the Wii case, uh, the CD soundtrack, and an art. Uh, booklet which is actually really really cool I have seen it before from other unboxings and then it kind of shows all the different Kirby's uh, that have appeared in the games uh, since 1992 which just ah oh, that's just so cool and Kirby is one of the cutest uh, characters ever it just it just looks so cool it's all in pink it's it's very nice that's why I'm like wearing the pink shirt um, so yeah very nice stuff uh, even the sides here uh, most of the time side panels are very very boring and it's just more more Kirby-ness more you know uh, the, Even the white with the pink looks really cool. It's just, I don't know everything's just really working here uh, for this um, Special edition Okay, and then in the back they kind of show you what's included in this and there's a bunch of different stuff So the CD soundtrack the the art booklet uh, they have the six games that are there which is it starts with the uh, Game Boy game uh, Kirby's Dream Land and then it goes to uh, Kirby's Adventure on the NES and the Kirby's Dream Land 2 also on the Game Boy. Um, then it's Kirby Superstar, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3, and Kirby 64. Uh, that was hard to do because it's inversed. When I'm what I'm looking at is inversed. It's all, you know, the wrong way. Uh, there's also a new challenge stage, which is kind of like uh, Kirby's Dream Land for the Wii, and uh, Kirby's History, which you can kind of just see a little bit more uh, while you're in the menu of the game about um, Kirby. Uh, and you know what he's gone through and it's all you can all play it on like the Wiimote uh, the classic controller and the GameCube controller I'm probably gonna pick the GameCube controller so let's unbox this baby and try not to make any creases good job Kyle no, look at that no crease e even this has you know some extra you know artwork there uh, King Dedede, um, I don't even know his name. I've, I've really only played uh, Kirby's Mass Attack on the DS, uh, and I beat it, and it was okay, but I'm really excited to see, you know, the origins of Kirby and, and seeing, you know, what all the fuss is about. I kind of have an idea because I've seen people play it. So, uh, here is the uh, game, uh, and it's kind of cool because it's, it's you know, it's, it's uh, instead of being completely pink and full of color, like this is, uh, it's just brown, and I, I, that works for me. I don't know. It's it's not the nicest, uh, but it does work as well. Um, and then they kind of show you a little bit more in the background, uh, just kind of like a little bit more about the games. Uh, so really cool stuff. And uh, well, actually, let's unbox that first, and then we'll go through the art book together. <laughs> uh, Kyle, get some sleep. I haven't had coffee today. That's my excuse. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, it actually feels a little bit heavier than norm uh, uh, a normal uh, game would. So let's take out the there's the you know the Wii points there. I'll take that out. Um, and it's two discs. So uh, the first one is the soundtrack, and then the second disc is the actual game itself. Uh, so all six games are on there because you know they're not gigantic games because. Uh, the last, the biggest one would be the 64 game. Uh, and then they have on the side here, probably the manual. So it's just kind of talking about, uh, I do have Kirby's Epic Yarn, but I just haven't played it yet. Uh, and they just kind of show you, you know, stuff about Nintendo and the actual manual. 
which I'm hoping is in color. It is. It's kind of thick. Um, it kind of shows you all the controls for it, which is nice because you can play it for basically everything and they have Kirby's on the side there. That's what I miss. Uh, that I just love having... Uh, okay, so we're going to show you the controls and instead of just showing you like boring, this is what you do, they show you what the actual movements are with the character. I remember they did that, I think they did that with Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, just, you know, add extra artwork in there and then it makes you actually want to look at the manual. And, like, ah, oh, my goodness, look at all that. That's just so cute. Um, so yeah, really cool um, manual. Uh, so that is, you know, what it looks like uh, when you open it up. And I'll take a quick peek at the um, art book, and the art book isn't by no means like really thick or anything. Well, it's still 45 pages, so not too bad. Uh, but it's, it's so colorful, and there's so much stuff in here. So this shows you all the different games that Kirby has been in before, uh, which is really cool. Um, and then it kind of just goes through like like the timeline of all the Kirby games. And there's just oh, so much cool information that I'm really going to take time to... Uh, you know, re like look at all the, the the writing in there. There's a lot of uh, stuff in here. There's just it's I don't know, really cool. And I wish that more collections did this. Now, I obviously this is a 20th anniversary collection, so they have a lot more that they can talk about. Uh, but you know, I like it when you know a regular edition of a game just has you know an extra art book for what is inside the game. Sometimes they're very plain, but it's just cool to see extra stuff. And if it's a really big game, then they can actually write a little bit more. So yeah, look at that. That's awesome, awesome stuff. I'm quite happy uh, with the um, 20th anniversary of Kirby collection and I will be trying out uh, all these games uh, within the next month. Um, I don't know how many I'm gonna beat, but I'm gonna, you know, try out as many as I possibly can. So there you have it, that is the uh, Kirby's 20th anniversary collection. You've been bearded in. Thanks for watching. Beardage!